Hi, Burak. I put together this short video audit of your listing on Amazon, and it's my hope that I'll earn a phone call with you. My name is Sean, and I am with my Amazon guy. So listen, I've got your listing pulled up right here, the um, set of four Turkish hand towels. So before I go through the listing, one of the first things I like to do is take a peek behind the scenes. So I grabbed your ace in here and pulled it over into Helium 10. So let's go take a peek. All right, move me out of the way. Here within Helium 10, I see you don't have any sponsored keywords and only 500 organic. So it's interesting. I'm sure you're, um, well, I'm curious what kind of traffic you're receiving off of this. So let's scroll down here. So obviously gold uh, case Turkish, gold case. Okay, this makes sense that organically you're gonna be ranked very high. Not a lot of search traffic though. I just wanna show you something. And I know this is a very competitive category, but look at this within this category, the number one searched keywords are bathroom set, tea set, hair towel, towel set, and you're not showing up. That's interesting kitchen set, face towel, bathroom towel set, hand towel. Okay, so there's definitely room for improvement. Um, just something to think about, and I'm sure you know search, all of that, it's not set it and forget it. You've constantly gotta work it. Now let's go back to your listing though here. By the way, these towels are beautiful. I can see these in my home. Um, I like the image that you have, that first image. So let's go through these. Here we go. Okay, this shows it fold it out and then the other three towels. Okay, like this image, that's really nice. It looks like you've got a bunch of colors to choose from. Oh, that's good. In a kitchen, you like to see that. But you're missing people in these pictures. You don't have any people. It'd be really nice to have someone holding a towel in these pictures. You need to have lifestyle images, especially when it's something like this. So this is kind of a gift idea or something that people would put, you know, buy for their own home decor. And they want to be able to see it and visualize it this, themselves. And having a human in your pictures is going to, it's going to kind of elicit a feeling for that. Um, and this image is really good. I would like to see more images though with people in a lifestyle setting, something similar to this. Um, I saw your video, the video was good and it looks like you've got all of your keywords. So you've got 187 characters up here. A uh, couple things to think about. If you have any more room for characters, I would take that. And you know, some of these uh, uh, punctuation, not really necessary. Looking down here though, I do like uh, the parentage that you have with the different uh, colors that they can choose from. And then scrolling down, you've got very short um, about this item here. So these are very short here. I would increase the character count. So just to kind of review, and I know I've not shown you much, but um, a couple of things to think of. If you had the lifestyle images along with your great title here and your parentage, increase substantially this section right here. It will give consumers more to read, more to see, more to watch. Um, it's gonna leave them on your listing longer, which equates to a higher conversion ratio. This will help your organic traffic, right? So you've only got what, 500 organic keywords. Adding more in here is gonna help with that. And then two, as you look at a listing here, watch what happens when I scroll. The competition is right under your about this item section. So put more in here so that people have to scroll longer before they see those competitive ads showing up on yours. Now, I just saw something interesting. You only have five of these in stock, only two of these in stock. Interesting. That can hurt you. So I want to let's go look at the store here. So looking at the store, if you ever have items that are, you're having issues with stock outs here, let's look on the, the towels here. So any issues with stock outs or inventory levels can cause havoc when it comes to your ranking on Amazon. I'm sure you know that. So if any of these are, you know, just a couple in stock left or, you know, only five left, um, it causes several problems. Obviously you're ranking on Amazon, but it it's kind of harmful for consumers too, because looking here, I see you only have two left. What if I wanted to get more and you no longer have those in stock? Or is this business going out of business because you've got others where inventory is really low? So it hurts you in so many ways having stock outs. And let's see here, it looks like it probably happened quite often. Um, and I'm, you know, I get it with COVID. Um, but that can create a lot of problems for you. So I would focus on that. Now let's look at your branding down here. So, okay, it's okay. Um, actually, I would change it completely. Uh, the gold case and all this, this is a lot here. 
Um, but consumers aren't going to read this long paragraph. They want to see the images in with it too. So you do have this brand, but you know what I love? If you took instead uh, the image that you have here, these, this is really good branding. It brands you very, very well. I'm going to turn off my alt text. Um, but going back, looking down here at your branding, something like that image right here would really help. Let's look at your alt text though, behind your images. Okay, gold case, Turkish towels, pastamel. All right, and then you have cotton here. Pastamel history. Okay, so you're indexing for history. I don't think that's necessary. Um, and hand, head, towel, dish, cloth. Okay. Um, all right, so you've got, this is all, I mean, there's repetition and there's so much of it. Recommendation, just try it on one or two of these. Change these words um, to Spanish. Um, and then, you know, think of those keywords that we were looking at over here, like towel set, bathroom towel set, hand towel, kitchen towel. Those need to be in these keywords down here. So bath set, um, there's so many, you know, towels, you've got that. But I think there's a lot of room where we can make improvement on your alt text. Also, you know, back to branding. Um, I'm not really branded by your brand. I'm not sure what this picture is or even why it's necessary. Is this relevant to your brand? I read the story. I was a little confused. I don't know if it's really necessary. I want to show you an example of really exceptional A plus content. We put this together for a company called Age of Sage, and I'm just showing you the listing so that you see. Um, but you see, they've got the video, they've got images, they've got lifestyle images here. They've even got a ton of text, parentage like you, a lot of text here and about this item to push the competitors down. But this listing was for a box set of men's soap. And look at this Age of Sage branding. It's exceptional. This is A-plus content. You see that they're much more than just that men's soap. They have women's soap and bath bombs and gift boxes and, and incense and, and wine tumblers and all kinds of stuff. And the, the branding continues, Age of Sage, right? Scrolling down, they've got text. This helps with uh, their indexing organically, Age of Sage throughout there, tons of branding, more text and tons of branding. What's interesting here is look how long it's taking me to scroll, right? And then as we scroll even further, we get a product grid. So I definitely think that you're missing out on your enhanced branding content. I think there's a lot of room for improvement. I know I packed a lot of information in this video, but it's my hope that I earned that phone call. So go ahead and click the link in my email that reads book a call. It'll open up my schedule where you can snag yourself a free 30 minute consultation. And if you do it soon, I may be able to get our founder, Stephen Pope on the line with us. But hey, thanks so much for watching and I'll look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.